good afternoon how are you all thank you for joining me live in studio today did you enjoy Claire's show it was amazing wasn't it I was sat in the back thinking how left out do I feel right now I'm not so not used to anybody being in my studio but she did a fabulous job didn't she so well done Claire big pat on the back I know you are very nervous sweetheart but um, you did really really well and um, don't ask me to um, give a die away for three, five minutes before a live show because it seems to, <laughs> to melt down. So she's like, do you mind if um, I do the die for free? Um, I know obviously you've bought them, but can we do it for free? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's going to take a while to sort out. But I'm pleased if you did order it, well done. Um, and that was a lovely treat from Claire right at the last minute. So welcome Leslie, Jan, Phil, Tina, Hazel, Karen, Irene, David, Amanda. Karen, Enid, so Claire had 400 people watching today, so if I don't get that today, she's not my friend anymore, I'm only joking, I'm only joking, so um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and I love anything to do with crafting, so that may look in the form of painting, colouring, die cutting, stamping, stenciling, all the good stuff that you all love at home. So it's lovely for you all to tune in again. Have you been watching Carly's show too? That looks like it's a great show too. Everybody's having a great day today. It's lovely. I love it when um, things go to plan. Makes me day. So uh, in today's studio, we are going to be doing the lovely wild stamp. So that's this one here. So you will have all seen this one now. A lot of you have been crafting along and a lot of you have been uh, posting your makes over on our Eureka fan page. So that's lovely to see. I'll turn it around for you so you can see how big the stamp is there. So you can see it's an absolute belter. It's a really, really big one. And you're gonna be able to create so much with this one. If you watched studio yesterday, you will see some of the makes that were made yesterday, i.e. the lovely red card and we used the new Tim Holtz Distress Ink yesterday, didn't we? The speckled egg one. So you could have seen the card from there too. And I do encourage you to go back and watch our videos from earlier too because they never go away. They are there to be watched. They are there to inspire you. So basically just enjoy them. That's what they're there for. You do not have to have our products to watch this um, YouTube channel, not at all. You will have something in your stash that's gonna work with all of your other brands. So. This is this one and we're on to our second show with this one and then after that one we move on to this one. So this is the lovely watercolour magic and these are the lovely silhouette roses. So you can see this one there and then when I turn this one over you'll be able to see how big this one is. And it's a super, super huge one again. Oh, I'll just move it over there for you. There we go. So you can see it's, it's, you're going to have a lot to do with this one. Now you're probably thinking, my gosh, I'm not sure what I would do with that one, Tony. Well, I'm going to show you. That's why we have this lovely channel so I can show you what's going on. I'm sorry about the hair. It's been, it's been a long day. <laughs> so hello, Shirley, sweetheart, Pauline, Angela. It's lovely to see you all again. Thank you so much for tuning in for Claire's show and thank you for showing them your face here as well, which is lovely. So let's crack on with our first demonstration then. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button and the little HD button that will give you a better viewing experience. And after the show, if you would pop a comment below the video, this gives us a wider reach, which means more people are watching every single day. And as you know, our channel is growing so, so fast, which means the inspiration is being shared so, so fast. Uh, and that means lots of cards are being made so, so fast. Should make a song. <laughs> so I have my stamp here. So first of all, I'm gonna stamp the stamp out. And we're gonna create something different today. So this is a piece of watercolor card. And I'm just going to stamp the stamp straight onto this piece of watercolour card like so. Can we see that there? So I'm just going to grab my Eureka here. Like so. And I'm just going to pop it into here. And I'm using the smooth side today, guys. So it depends on personal preference. This has got a bit of a texture or smooth. I go today on the smooth. Share the love. That's right, Joyce. Let's share the love having a lovely day today and Carl is live now as well which is great so I'm just if I'd known it were a double show which I forgot I should have known but if I'd known I would have put, postponed this and pushed it back half an hour 
So, but you can watch this anytime and Carly will be on catch up too. So fingers crossed you'll be able to catch us both at some point. Right, okay. Oh, how kind. Somebody's purchased some for your Debbie for your birthday. Your daughter. How lovely. So I'm just going to stamp this one in the waterproof ink, which is the one that we use for our lovely watercolours. Get lots of ink on there like so. And then we'll stamp this one out. Get all that detail in if you can. So the Craft Academy um, course is coming to an end. We have one more stamp after this one. And then we have our lovely day where we're going to be showing all of our lovely makes here in studio on the 25th at 4.30. And you will be able to see all the lovely makes that I've had the pleasure of receiving through the post and had a cry or two on a few of them. I've had a laugh or a few on, two of the, on a few of them. So it's going to be absolutely fabulous. So I do encourage you to tune in on that day and tell all your friends too. If you want your family to see your makes, they're going to be in this studio and I'm going to read quite a few of them out. So if you do want a message reading out to somebody, obviously you can do that if you want to. But if you want your family or anybody else who maybe doesn't watch the channel to see one of your handmade cards, then you're going to have to get them to watch on that day. That's going to be super, super cool. And it's going to be a while in that studio because I have a little surprise for you all so that studio is going to be longer than normal so you are going to have to probably have a bite to eat at the same time <laughs> so let's take this out of here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fussy cut around the top part of this card here so I've just stamped it in the black and now I'm just going to best I can and you know as I always say when you're doing your fussy cutting don't be perfect, there is no need to be perfect because we can hide those nasty cut edges, can't we, with our watercolours and no one would ever know that you're not the best fussy cutter in the world. So just do your best, leave a little bit of a border but not too much. So I'm not going to go into all the detail because in the open parts within the flowers, because what we'll do is we'll fill that with watercolour and it will just enhance the, enhance the image, okay. And I'll show you that in a second. I have done it many times before on videos. So you, most of you probably will have seen me do it. But I'm just going to show it again on this one. Because we're going to do something a little bit different today. So I'm just going around the top part. I'm leaving a little bit of a border if I can. So just going back to Claire's lovely show, um, obviously Claire's got her, her own Facebook page which is just as inspiring as our fabulous Eureka fan page. Um, she's got a lovely bunch of ladies on there too, so if you are wanting some more inspiration, there are no rules, you don't have to be just in one group. I do encourage you to go and check out her group too, um, because as you all probably know by now, we are, we are really good friends, that's a given. But you know how tough it is in the industry when you're small, like me, because I am still small, as much as people tell me otherwise. I am still a family business and still striving to do great things. Um, I remember being where Claire was. So, and she's a little, little nervous bunny, but she does absolutely amazing and she's doing an incredible job and she's growing so, so fast, but it's not without the hard work. So, if we can support her in the sense that we can like some of her pages and be just as much as she wants to encourage you guys at home and me to craft, I think in return she does need the encouragement herself, like me, you know, um, to craft. We're not just because we sit here and do classes with you all and show you a few tips and techniques and tricks. It doesn't mean we're professionals in any way. We are just the same as you guys at home. So the encouragement in return really, really is good. So when she came out of studio, I'm like, we're not even allowed to hug yet, which is such a, such a nightmare. Um, but I was like, virtual hugs, well done, well done. She, was, she had the little rosy red cheeks. <laughs> She's like, oh, did I do all right? Did I do all right? So yeah, go check out her channels too, because um, I love sitting down on an evening and watching her videos as well. They inspire me. So, and it's again, it's down to sharing, isn't it? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pop some colour onto here. Right, so today's card is going to be very rainbow-esque. So we're going to do a tunnel rainbow on our back card, but we're going to keep the colours in theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of the lovely green on here. I know a lot of you have ordered your paint palettes, well done. So you're going to have a lot of fun playing with your paints. If you do like any of our products at all and do want to buy them, all you need to do is go to www.stampsbyme.co.uk and pop FBL into the search engine and it'll show you all the products that we use in studio. Um, but if you don't want the products, that's fine. You probably will have a stamp that might be similar to this. So let's pop some green on these leaves. So I'm just randomly popping the colour in and I'm leaving white spaces. Try stay within the lines if you can, but it's okay if you don't. So anything that's green, so let's have a look around. Anything that's green. Is that it for green, one leaf? Okay, let's pop a bit in here. So I'm taking the colour right to that very edge. I'm gonna colour all of that because I'm not sure what's going on there. So, and this is a great thing, isn't it, about um, colouring and stamping and things like that. It's just a suggestion, you know, you don't have to go by the book so I'm just where it's got like a gap I'm actually filling it green because I think there might be some green in the background so I think I'm gonna leave that there so let's get some color onto these beautiful flowers I'm just trying to read the messages as well as mix color I'm not very good at multitasking have you gathered Oh, Shirley's used her palette. Well done, Shirley. It's just a lovely compact um, little set that houses all the colours you would probably need. I have I have got bigger sets and I do use them quite often too because um, I'm obsessed with paint and brushes, as you all know. Um, but everything has its place, doesn't it? You know, you don't just have to have one set of paints and one set of colours. And if I buy another set and I love them, they will get used too. So... We can have several, can't we, if you're obsessed like me. So I'm just dropping this pink into here on that one. And let's do this beautiful pink one down here. So I'm just doing anything like that. I'm absolutely just, and I'm taking the colour right to that very edge. Now I'll get rid of that white harsh line. Like so. Can we see that there? So the paint palette I'm using is the one with the green case, but there is a peach case and there is a blue case. So it's personal preference, really. You don't have to have the same case as me. They've all got the same colours inside. So I'm just popping some orange into these other ones here. So I'm just completing the project, nothing fancy. So if you are crafting along, I'm using orange, pink, green and possibly a little bit of yellow. So we're creating like a lovely border. Try not to put too many colours in because it will overwhelm a little bit. So if you're just starting out and thinking, well, that looks awful, it might be because of all the colours you've used. So scale it back to a few colours, work with those few colours, then as your confidence grows, what will happen is you will naturally just start to use um, a variation of colours. It doesn't come naturally, unfortunately. You just need to sort of take the paintbrush and take it to the card for it to naturally happen. 
So start with a few colours and then grow from those few colours. So I'm just popping some colour into all of the little flowers in there. So as you can see we have still some horrid white spaces. So let me just turn this around here. I think that bit of pink is that one there. Part of that. So I always find that it's easier to fill the spaces after I've popped in the colour. So I'm not being over precious about where the colour goes. So in these spaces where I've got white cardstock, I always do like a real pale ochre, which is this colour here. And it's like a, cre a mustardy creamy colour, but I dilute it right back. And then I paint in the areas in this really light colour. And it just takes the harsh line, high, harsh white, sorry, out of the card. And it just pushes it completely back. And then this is where, if you're fussy cutting, fussy, I can't spit my words out. If you're fussy cutting isn't the best, this is where it hides it. So I'm just filling in those white spaces there. And take it, take it right to that very edge and then Take it round your picture too, and that'll get rid of that harsh white line. And it just pushes it back. So now, what was something quite harsh has now been pushed completely back, which is great. So these paints are in stock on our website now. These are not in the birthday show, unfortunately. And we have one more Christmas launch in, um, I think it's October. But it's not, um, it's not stamped and dies, it's a surprise. But it's another Christmas launch. So there we go, so we have that beautiful sort of, and because I cut my card ahead of time, I didn't, excuse me, I didn't have to worry about going around this edge because the card was cut that way. There we go, so everybody so far, if you are crafting along, Christmas red in the wax seals, I think we have got some coming, Dorothy have to um, stand by on that one. So let's set that one aside. So let's bring in our next piece of card. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a pretty rainbow effect. Now let me just grab a bigger brush. So I'm going to use a flat brush, one of these ones. So it's, it's sort of, or you could use one of these ones which is squared off. Can we see that there? So you could paint in lines, you could paint in circles so you get like a circle effect. You could do whatever you wanted to, but I also find that a flatter brush is easier for backgrounds. So whatever you've got in your stash. So I'm going to use this one. And what I'm going to do is I am going to create like a ombre effect, but in circles today. So the semi-moist watercolours, Denise, they are for a student artist and they give like a brilliant transparency. So... With these, um, if you build and build and build on top of, eventually you will get something that you can't see through. Eventually, you will have to honestly layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. But with the other ones, you will never be able to get full coverage. So if you like the transparent flowers and the very delicate flowers that you can see through, so then you put another petal on top of another petal, if that makes sense, and it looks like a skeleton petal, that's what they give. They give a brilliant um, transparency, transparency, if that makes sense. <coughs> Do you sell the brushes? Yep, these brushes are on the website. There's some pink, some blue, some yellow, all with different heads. So have a look. There's some flat, there's some round. And they, they are in the Hemi collect, in the Hemi paints and things like that. Right, so let's get on with this demo. <laughs> I found like yesterday all I did was talk um, and I'm thinking oh people have come to watch me craft but hey ho I've not got any stories for you today though so basically all I'm doing is I'm taking some of this yellow and I'm just going to paint a circle so you can do it as big as you want let's go this big so then next one we're going to go orange so I'm just building up that popping water to the palette here I'm going to go round and it's just going to bleed into that yellow, but, but please let it do it. <laughs> We're not going for um, precision. And they don't have to be a perfect circle, you can do lines if you want to. And then off this one we will do the lovely pink. 
So I'm just building that colour on my brush. I'm just going to go around the orange here, look. Sometimes it's really good to be creative. Just go for it. It's a piece of card. Just enjoy it. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Oh, it's starting to look like an oval now. <laughs> let's make it back into a circle. That's it. And then let's go red. Will the watercolour markers be in the show? Maybe. You all know that I can't hold my own water. That's why you're all asking me these questions, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm going to take this red all the way up. And then let's just go back down again, make sure I've got lots of colour on there, the pink. It's looking ugly at the moment, yeah, but I always say stick to the very end. Pick up the orange. Like so. And then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to swap my brush out for a round brush because I get better effect with a round brush. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up some of this lovely colour that's um, floating around in here. And I'm just going to add some splashes on here. So, don't waste the colour. So, I've got a lot of orange, so I'm going heavy on the orange. Like so, and it looks like we've got a bit of yellow as well, so let's pick up some of that yellow. Like so. So let's try this one off before we move on to the next stage. I'm using watercolour card, yeah, it just gives, it just allows me to move that colour around a little bit easier. So just don't want to run that yellow too much in the centre. So let's dry this off while it's um, working its magic. <laughs> so I'm just going to mop that, push that um, yellow back a little bit because it's wanting to creep into my orange and it's, it's ruining my vision. <laughs> No, the gossip sparkle pens will not be in the show. I'm just going to get question after question after question now, aren't I? So let me think. Let me see if I can think of anything to give you a clue. So in birthday, obviously we're launching brand new things every single day. Um. What do I say without giving it away? <laughs> oh, crikey. So you build something with what I'm going, what we have in birthday. You've never seen it before. And you know how we've got our infamous lamination collection? It's going to be sort of that. It's going to be something that we revisit all the time. So lamination is a two-part. This is something that you build, which we're going to be making something with, but not physically building. Does that make sense? I don't know. 
That's, a, that's as much information as you're getting without getting me in trouble. So I'm just going to add some white splat to this one now. And I'm using um, gouache for this because it's less transparent when you add the water. So I get a, like a nice white finish if you have nice clean water that is. Whereas my water is orange so I'm going to end up with a nice orangey white but it's okay. So I'm just mixing a puddle and I'm just going to add some white. So this is really, in a sense, how you create the galaxy effect if you use your blues and your purples and things like that. I'm just wiping my brush off there. It seems a shame to waste that white now, doesn't it? But we have to move on. I'm just trying this one off. I think the gouache is sold out, unfortunately. I think the only ones we have are the watercolour tubes and the acrylic. Uh, and the kits, the gouache kits have sold out. Now this would look great with some metallic splats on there as well, if you've got your metallic paints. But you can get a true sense of, there we go, the galaxy sort of feel, can't we? There we go. So let's start putting this card together. So I have a white piece here, just a white piece of cardstock. And because I don't have any of these colours in cardstock, I'm going to create my own background for stamping so it all matches. So I'm just going to take my flat brush here. I'm just going to take some of the lovely orange. I'm just going to paint halfway so it matches my card and then I'm going to take some of the lovely pink and take the pink or the red on my bottom and take it up so I get a bit of an ombre. Can you see that there? So I've just made my own matching card stock basically. So whatever colours you've got in your... There we go, I'll leave that be. Because I don't have the bright colours I don't really own very many bright colours to be honest in cardstock but we will do soon so let's dry this off blowing it out my hand. There we go. I'm happy with that. So let's grab our lovely sentiment, which is in the same stamp set. So if you have got this stamp set, you can use your own stamp. Oh, it's just over there. And then, if, but if you haven't got this stamp set, don't worry, you will have a biggish stamp set from something. I'm just going to stamp wild straight in the centre here. And we'll just do it in true black so it pops with our lovely ombre colour behind. And again, this is a lovely sort of sketchy word. So it won't give you a true print. It looks like a bit of a spray paint style. It's really pretty. The card wasn't made wet first. I just painted it straight onto the white card stock. There we go. How cool is that? So you can see the lovely sketchy print in there. Love this one. So let's put this together. I'm just going to mount this onto this piece of black here. So I've done a like a black border. Can we see that there? So let's just grab a tape pen or glue.
and we have a lovely wild border there. So that's that one. So I'm just going to bring our background into play here. And what I've done is I've grabbed my Baroque stencil. So I'm just going to add a little bit of stencil detail to the upper part of here, just to give it a little bit more interest. And I've grabbed my Generation Inks, the lovely Fuchsia one. And I'm just going to push through a little bit of colour, just to add a little bit more detail to our background. Because what's, happen what's going to happen is this is going to be at the base and the top is going to look quite bland. So I'm going to add just a little bit of detail just to the top part where it's going to show. Now you can tape your stencil down if you want to. Just try and get that in the centre there. So I'm just going to pick up some of this pink. I'm just going to pop it through. I just want a suggestion. I don't want it to be like overwhelming. Obviously you can build on it if you want to. it might not look like much is going down to start with but it's gone through look there can you see that there just see that there just it just adds that little bit of interest to the background I'm not going to add any more because I don't want it to overwhelm so I'll just dry this one off Oh, Lillian says she's learnt a new language. On break, go ash and lamination. <laughs> Lillian, I got your beautiful card. Or oh, was it a letter? I just um, remember the lovely signing off of the lovely name Lillian Lomax. So thank you. So let's put this card together. So I have a piece of black here. So let's mount this flat onto our black. And this is really where your car comes together. So you've got all your components. And you're probably thinking, is it going to work? Is it not? When you put your card together, you can always add to, make it darker. Just always remember that if you are watercolouring, go light first. And then if it's not dark enough, you can always add to it, can't you? Oh, Helen's posted hers, so I should have that soon then. We have a full basket of cards. A basket of cards. And I like my sh the shop basket. Huge. Just giving that chance to grab that ca black card there. So now look at that. I, I mean, it still looks like where's it going, but mounted onto the black, it looks completely different. So then what we're going to do is look, when you start to bring your artwork into play, see it's not until you bring it into play where it all starts to come together. So let's pad, let's pad this one. So I'll pop some pads at the top. This is a super, super bright card. And it's sometimes fabulous to maybe step out of your comfort zone and not do, not do the traditional muted colours all the time. So I need to think about where I'm popping this, so let's go here. Now I would, and I will, for the photo, make these brighter so it's in keeping with our beautiful sort of rainbow in the background there. Because it's sort of like this is the fighting with, with each other and I don't want them to fight with each other, I want them to work together. So what I will do is I will add... Um, some more colour to this one just make it that little bit brighter and then it'll really look pretty and some sequins of course and we'll add this to the bottom so it looks like it's all one piece and did you say I only popped pads across this part here if I'd have popped them across the top and laid them on top of that my card would have been on an angle so I just popped the little pads just on the base because I knew this part was going to sit on here in fact I'm just going to paint it in a little bit darker if that's okay if everybody's okay with that 
So I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter. And then instantly now, adding that look, it's not fighting with it anymore. It was too washed out, wasn't it, guys? So we just needed to... There we go. So let's just bring it all together quickly. Now, when you're painting, if you can, leave a bit of white space and then you'll get instant light and shade. I'm not going to splat this top one today though because the back's got the splats on. I think it'll all just blend into one if we try and add the splats to this one too. So I'm going to leave the main focal image today without the splats. That will kill me, but I'm going to do it. Can you see how bring it, doing it dark is bringing it all together? And it... Even though this looks pretty dark, it will still dry back way, way lighter. So get that colour down. And it's like I said earlier as well, you know, um, go lighter. You can always add two. It's a little bit difficult to try and strip it back a little bit. So go lighter to start. And then like there, when you put the card together, we can always go in and go to town with that lovely colour if we want to. Nothing lost. Bring this green in a little bit down here. Right, so let's get this onto our card. Let me just dry this off a bit with my gun. Now be mindful, if you start using your gun when you've got pads underneath, it's going to start, the pads are going to start to shrink underneath. Uh, your card's going to look like it's a bit cockly. So just gun on, gun off, like put it on and take it off. If you have got the time, let it air dry. That would be the best way. Then we can get this onto our lovely card. You saw how much white splashes I put onto that background and really there's hardly none now. They've dried back to pretty much nothing. So we really do have the courage to get those splats on there. You know, you probably have cramp by the time you're finished and then when you come to put it on your card, it's like, do you know how many splats I put on there? And there's hardly none on it now. So I think that's okay. So let's get this mounted onto our card. Now I'll place it down carefully because it might be still wet. Try not to move it around. I would use glue as well if you, I was at home. That's okay. Let me just clear that off because that will end up on my card. And then we have a nice top folding white card here, look. And then as soon as you pop it on and mount it, as straight as you possibly can. Oops, sorry, there we go. So let's just move everything out, I'll just show you it stood up. And there we go. You can send a Christmas card and of course you can, you can send anything in you want to. Um, it was basically any card you'd made using the Craft Academy stamp, but if you want to send a card in, please send a card in. We love to see what you make. Are there any rules for cards? Is that somebody saying, because I always say there are no rules? You are cheeky. You are so cheeky. <laughs> it's like the box scenario. What size is it? What size is it? You all had me big time, didn't you? I must have explained it three times and then somebody went, we're doing it on purpose. I'm like, you had me big time then. Boxes, yeah, joke boxes. So I hope you like that one. It's something for you to try. Get your paintbrush out and do those backgrounds by yourself. Don't cheat and use something else. Have the courage to play with a paintbrush. Doing the backgrounds like these yourselves will encourage you to maybe paint a flower 
in a few months time it's building that confidence with yourself so you might be starting out and painting circles for backgrounds and adding some splashes but the more that you do it the more courage you're going to gain to maybe paint a poppy or a rose or something like that you've seen my youtubes where i've done poppies and roses and things like that that didn't just come naturally it just came because i'd already been using my watercolors and playing and I just felt like I was ready and it will be exactly the same for you at home. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon, evening. If you missed Claire's show, go back and watch it. If you missed Carly's show, go and watch that. If you missed this one, you can catch me later. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 o'clock using this fabulous stamp for the last time. I'll see you all later, guys. Take care. Bye.